Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Let's jump into the queue and see what's on TV while we wait. It's Dark Angel vs. Nameless Surf. 1809. I assume that's enough to be in the top 200 these days, right? Probably somebody's smurf? Like, I, I don't know, I've seen this person, but... Maybe they are also someone's smurf in addition to being a name I recognize. Anyway, um... Yikes, a lot of Absorb Denial stuff here, right? With uh, Lance 2, Thermite, Blood Rager. Some of that must feature prominently somehow. Um, and ob also, obviously, some like fast red attackers, so you can get to like three attack with Tarsier, Tarsier, and then Vor Tarsier. But you usually need some defense in those kinds of like. You can't usually afford to just do that. Oh, I didn't notice. We got a player one turn two Animus. That's reasonable with Blood Page, I think. Although, is it? Just seems like, I don't know. Rhino is just a pretty good response. I guess just no one's ever building any Tarsiers with these fast red attackers available. Or just going mono red. I'd really rather have some other tech, but I guess that's the nice thing about Blood Phage is you can diversify. Uh, whereas the... Player 2 is not, I think, going to ever really have a chance to pick up any other tech. Interesting that we are seeing a Tarsier. I mean, yeah, Vor wouldn't fire, right? So you kind of do need it, but it feels bad. I wonder if it might even be time for another Rhino already. Just as, like, extra soak? Probably not, right? If all you have for permanent attack is one Vor, you're not going to be in great shape, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Hold a drone here to protect your Ryan, um, your Electrovore, I think? I'm not sure why we didn't. Seems like it would have helped a lot. Oh, this guy's unable to do it. Fine. Maybe we're just happy sacrificing a Vor? I don't know. I wouldn't be very happy with it. Ooh. Yeah, it feels real bad to float too blue to get that red. Too red to get that blue, I mean. I, uh... I favor Dark Angel here. Yeah, mm. Do you? I guess you, you still can't really get a blast forward, but if you get a conduit actually instead of these two engineers, that would definitely be better. Um, right, by one rhino, one NG, and a conduit for force fields. That uh, would be really great right now, I think. Why are we thinking of not clicking this? Rager! Okay. That could be reasonable. And holding the one stamina rhino is fine. It, it it only costs... It doesn't cost you any offensive pressure, because you are already threatening to attack with that. Um, and you still are. But it saves you some tempo, just like saving a one stamina bombarder. Like, it gives you a little defensive tempo. Um, cool play. I often forget to make it, so neat to see it being made here when I think it was correct. Um... Although, it's going to be a bit tough to actually get the, <laughs> the click value out of this. I don't know. Like, we're going to have to sack this on defense soon, right? Hmm. Well? I'm no longer quite so sure who's winning. I mean, this Blood Rager seems like it ought to be a really big deal. I guess it is. We only have two or three permanent attack here, and down here we have, like, four. This Tarsier just seems, like, too slow. I mean, what else, like, what else are you supposed to do? Sure, but having, like, been in a position where building this was the best thing you could do is not good news. I 
I wonder if holding a Rhino makes sense here? Since attacking for four is a bit awkward for the opponent, they don't want to lose an Electrovore, or an Engineer rather, but they also don't want to defend for an even number. It's not as good as holding a one stamina Rhino, because you actually delay some of your threat that way, but it's a thought. And we kind of want an Engineer, right? And I guess a Tarsier is what fits with that, because you don't want another Vore. Oh look, we did! We held the, uh, the Rhino. Nice. Ah, good point! If the enemy chooses to lose the Engineer to absorb correctly, then you can afford another Vore. And suddenly things are slowing down a bit as we have like all this Rhino tempo saved up. Four, seven permanent attack all of a sudden if you count the wars. Against two, three, four, five? What happened? I. I I don't know, it seems to me like maybe a Nameless Surf is winning now. I, yeah, oof, I don't know. I guess if you, if you consider both players as constantly firing Electrovores, then Dark Angel is still a bit ahead, maybe? Um, and if they're not, then like Dark Angel also has more defensive tempo saved up, so... Maybe, maybe I still do like Dark Angel's position. But certainly a sharp game where I think either player could still slip up and lose. Any minute now, we'll get a match. Someone was asking in the Discord earlier if, like, Prismata is down, but it doesn't- it didn't seem down to me. Like, I don't know, I haven't tried playing yet. Maybe the matching queue is broken, but then how did these guys find that game? Oh, yeah. Just, like, able to build a Tarsier here is so... good. Right, having the kind of luxury to do that means you're in a pretty good spot, I think. The other player is soaking with rhinos that still haven't attacked yet. We're losing this war. You know. eh. But we're able to, like... We're using this tempo to produce permanent attack. Um, yeah. I think Dark Angel still has this one, but we might as well stick it out and see. I've predicted the outcome a couple times, and I think I've always predicted Dark Angel. I don't I don't think I ever decided Nameless Surf was winning, but maybe I'm wrong. No, you lose a Vore. Wow, these are fast turns! Is that really, like, so obviously what you want to do? I guess it is. You know, making exactly 11 bucks per turn, Tarsier Wall Engie is pretty much, like, the best thing to do. Here, I think a Rhino is pretty good. It plays around the threat of, like, them absorbing onto Rhino and then attacking. They're not likely to do that. You could consider holding a drone here. Um, because if the enemy loses one attack and attacks for just eight, then the then the drone would be protecting an engineer. 
right? And the door would get to fire then. I don't know. Drones are worth a lot. I never quite know when it's right to hold a drone to protect an engineer uh, in Electrovore games. Ugh. It's pretty scary here. We have like so much attack, right? I can't be wrong. Both players have two rhinos left, and uh, Dark Angel's a bit up on walls. Mm, hang on, shouldn't you at least check and see how much enemy damage you're killing? I'm not sure you needed to hold that rhino. Well, okay, I guess maybe you did? I don't know, if you had attacked for one more, I think the enemy might have one less attack. Uh, in which case you could afford to lose two. Uh, have two less health. So there's the attempted breach. We're offering a breach back. I wish we would think a little bit longer about this. It seems like a pretty important decision. You've been saving time bank all game. No rhinos or walls for either player. Wow. Sure. Splitter. Although maybe Vorengi would be better? As like a thing that can attack but also has a little bit more health that while it's attacking. Really? Surely you'd rather just actually absorb and build an NG. <laughs> what a silly game. Oh no, I'm gonna be wrong. Dark Angel's gonna lose this one. I'm pretty sure that this is over now. Yeah, I mean, can't defend, but you only get breached for a little, and then Dark Angel gets breached for everything. I guess we're gonna play one of these guys when the game is over. It's the longest I've had to wait in queue for a while. Now we resign. No. That one last Tarsier is gonna slug it out. Oh, not even... I guess it's a, a Blood Phage. Alright. No games live. Maybe Prismata is broken. No. We got Nameless Surf. We're just the last three people playing on the server today. Not loading very quickly. Oh, I should have grabbed the replay code for that game so I could put it in the, uh, in the video description so you guys could go look at it if you wanted. Oh well. I mean... It was on the screen. If you want, you can go type it in by hand. <laughs> Alright, here we are against the winner of the previous match in a base plus eight set. The two big sniperinos, and we got uh, Blood Phage and two giant green units. Um, probably sniping will not come into play this game. Arms Race and Blood Phage are just like 
too good as attackers. And the only defense is Zatron. And sort of, you know, Thunderhead. Um, so I, I'd like to aim for Zatron, but... Uh, that's not enough justification for a Deadeye. Um, I don't think we're going for a third engineer. There's just no defense, really. It's more important to get green, blue, and red than it is to get drones. Uh, I'd like to get red first for Phage? I never know. Maybe just get blue first and build a couple oxides while I drone up a bit more to add in the red and uh, green. It'd be really nice if my first, if I, like, if I could have 16 bucks on, on some turn to build, like, Phage Arms Race. But I don't think that's very likely. Right, DDB next turn gets me to 12 drones. I buy this. Uh, I would have $13. This leaves me with 10 build CA, but I wouldn't, I would only have 12 drones, so that's no good, so drones then? And that feels a bit slow, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Real. I don't think so. Maybe I'll just get red first against this. They're going to try to make it hard for me to um, get to the economy size that I might want to be able to build like Phage uh, Arms Race. So maybe I'll just build Phages and Tarsiers and kill them with that. Right? I don't think Dead Eyes are going to beat that. Certainly not this like did I rush? Are you kidding? What is this? Maybe they're not building dead eyes. Let's. What if they build oxide mixers instead? Do I still want this red? It seems fine. Mm, what if I did this and built like a conduit? No. I'll just keep droning up while he's killing my drones. How do you like them apples? Wow, buy Deadeye to defend with it, huh? It can't feel great. I can do this for one more turn, right? Like, I'm, I'm stable, right? He's killing a drone, I'm building a, quote, drone. Um, eventually he's, you know, gonna kill an engineer. And I'll have to stop and build, like, Rhino Tarsier or something. But overall, I think that's fine. He just, like, does not have enough economy to deal with the amount of attack I'm gonna have. Oh yeah, that's right. Of course, he's killing two drones this turn, not one. Sure. Whatever. I could build an engineer here, but... I guess it'll be... He's gonna have, what, three pixies next turn? I could build, like, a Blast Forge to let me get a wall and just build a little bit less attack per turn. You know, click the phages more. It's 
not really wall time yet, though. He doesn't have any real attack. I should just be buying engineers, right? So he has three pixies. I have two NGs. I click Rhino. Build Rhino. And I'll have how many drones? I'll have 10 bucks. So Rhino, click Rhino, click Phage, buy NGs, or Last Forge or something? Seems okay. The third blue. He wants Apollo. I just find this shocking. Yeah, I think I'll just drone back up. Like, I'm producing a ton of attack, and he's not, so... Okay. Like, okay, so here's the thing. I could choose to not do that, right? But I don't have much money. What am I building? Another Rhino? Um, doesn't seem that great. Whereas, like, this takes away the only advantage he has, which is, like, four additional drones. That's not even that, really. It's just, like... I have seven. So he has, he's up six drones, but I've got these three here. I don't know. I think this is pretty good. I think I need more drones still. Click those pixies? Um. Yeah, maybe one of the drones should have been an engineer, I guess, considering how much he's actually got to attack with. Oh well. <laughs> Attacking for seven is pretty awkward for him anyway. Um, I'm just gonna switch into blue here and force him to actually click those pixies to get value. He was right not to click them last turn. I was, it was silly of me to say he should have. Would have given me absorb for no particular reason. All it does is stop me from building drones, which is not a thing I can really do anyway. Is he going to try to build a Thunderhead? That might be a productive thing to do. But it looks like with this force field, he'll be unable to. I guess he wants Apollo, but I just think that that is so outrageously far-fetched against the amount of damage that he's having to cope with, right? He's also, like, exploited here, which is nice. I exactly want to build a wall because it means I can't build two attackers. I could try a Rhino and a Splitter. It seems okay. This offers me a gambit opportunity of absorbing on Rhino if he clicks all his pixies and his this, which he shouldn't. this. I don't have to attack with the splitter, which is nice. Mm, splitters are not very good right now, are they? I should, well, I mean, what else am I supposed to do, though, right? Oxide mixer is a smaller spend of my money.
obviously snipes the splitter here, but oh well. Oh, blood fate, really? That I guess that's fine. I guess I could have considered saving the Rhino Charge and clicking the Splitter instead. I was thinking it would be a useful Absorber, but what am I thinking? He's not clicking any attackers, so... I should be doing this. If he wants to snipe my wall to deny me some Absorb, he should feel free. But that's not really gonna happen. I think this game was decided on turn two or went three. Whenever my opponent built the two, uh... must have been turn three. You built the two blast forges, right? No, it was turn two. Turn two. Unreal. This is just not a sound line for in like any dead I said. I don't think this is ever correct. I don't know when you would ever do this. Because Dead Eye games are sort of by their nature high econ, right? Um, the only reason you buy Dead Eye is because defense is better than attack in the set, right? There's there's something discouraging you from building real attackers. I mean, that's the main reason. You might buy them just because like something else you're doing that's good for some other reason leaves you with two blue at some point, and you're like, sure, buy Dead Eyes. Um, but usually there's a better way to spend them so you don't do that. Usually you buy Dead Eyes because Dead Eyes are good, um, which is true when offense is bad and defense is good, and that's when you want to drone up. So a low econ Dead Eye thing is just not very convincing, especially when your opponent can like build attackers that are also drones. I don't know if I played it perfectly. It would have been nice to get the Blast Forge sooner. Um, I think here was my chance to um, not be so greedy with the drones and just throw in a Blast Forge. It's not that like a wall is that amazing exactly, but <sighs> since he's not actually clicking the pixies, my rhinos are not getting any defense value. They're just sort of like threatening to defend. And so he's accumulating some threat that I'm not really dealing with. Whereas if I were building walls, I would be actually dealing with it. So, I don't know. I think a wall and then another wall once he has enough threat would be nice. And in the meantime, just click phages to build splitters or oxides or something it would have been better. Um, so more like this. And then I think he added a second uh, dead eye at this point, right? Or was this after defending with one? Oh, this was after defending with one. Okay, so no more dead eyes here. Got it. Um, I don't remember, like, this or something? I don't know, it's a big mystery. I don't understand, like, nothing you can do from here makes any sense. I'm not sure what... Maybe, like, some Gauss charges would have actually helped. My opponent was floating a lot of green. Anyway, so what, what did my opponent do after this? They just built walls and drones. And then the turn after, he got the Blast Forge and tried to defend. So supposing that, uh, that I do what I was thinking here. Um, now this Rhino defends against threat. If the opponent wants to blow four pix six Pixies to kill a Rhino and two NGs, they're welcome to. Uh, otherwise, this Rhino will attack, and then this one will be defending, right? This wall comes, defends me for just long enough for the Rhino train to start getting defensive value. So, but they don't do this. It's not worth it. Um, instead, you just, like, build enough walls, I guess. And try to get out the, um, the Apollo was apparently the plan. 
Yeah, and here I can just build another one of these. More rhinos. I'm accumulating soak to compensate for the pixies being left behind. And let's say they try to get the Apollo. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so clearly losing. How could you ever win? What, what did they even do to get the Apollo out in the game? They must have not built this force field or mixer and instead built a kind of pretty bad looking wall, right? I guess the wall's fine. They're granular after all. And like, then you can get the Apollo with... How? How did they do it? How did you even get it? Because I had to stop building rhinos or something? In the game... Oh, they got a splitter on the Blast Forge turn. That makes sense. You don't need the wall and the splitter to threatens to attack. And then they just did it, like, because I hadn't been building as many rhinos. They were able to get out the Apollo. I mean, it's still losing. Yes, so my, interestingly, my not getting the Blast Forge gave them some breathing room because I had to hold Rhinos. Meaning A, they don't attack this turn, and B, my opponent has a chance to click Pixies to kill a bunch of Rhinos. So I let a bunch of pressure off by uh, not buying the Blast Forge when I needed to. Interesting. Okay, so I'd say that was a fairly big error from me. It made things a lot easier for my opponent. They're still clearly losing, but um, I should have recognized how much more defense I was going to need with the Pixies accumulating. I sort of like, it. yeah, just didn't really math it out at all. I knew I wanted a Blast Forge, and I think that I uh, actually had like considered it, right? On, uh, no, I guess not. On the previous turn, maybe I did? Yeah, this is the turn when I actually should have bought it, not on the turn when I was considering it. Yeah. I just saw the drones, and I was like, oh, he gave me two energy? Yeah, that's what it was, because, see, I was thinking... My opponent's going to click the Pixies, I'll have no NGs, I can't build drones. And then they didn't click the Pixies, and I was like, wow, NGs, I can build drones, that'll counter the Dead Eyes. Um, and so I just sort of did it without thinking about, like, actually now is the time for the Blast Forge. Um, because the Pixie threat is accumulating. Okay, so at least now I sort of understand what I was thinking that made me not even consider the right play. Anyway, this, 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 whole, this whole game like was just a lesson in, like, don't build dead eyes here. Um, and then all I had to do, starting from turn three, was prove my opponent wrong. Right? It often, it often turns out that way, right? Like, you analyze the set, and you find what you think is a good line, and then you don't play it, because your opponent did something worse than the best line, and you have to, instead of doing what you were thinking of, do the thing that beats that. Uh, the reason that it's a bad line. And here, I think, against this, like, anything aggressive will win. Um, maybe I could have tried to get out, like, some arms race business, but honestly, a Deadeye Apollo player would love to be gifted free engineers, I think. So that's sort of a pipe dream. Zatron's not really a thing. You could try Oxide Mixers. I'm sure they would be fine if you could work in some blue, but... Red is just a very simple, aggressive line, and Blood Fate is good. So, there you go. That's why we did that. Alright, well, we only really had time for one game because of that uh, very long queue at the beginning. But, we can go open up some, uh, some of these guys, so... If you guys don't care to watch the unlocks, then thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you're still here, you're going to watch some unlocking stuff, which, I don't know, I don't hate it as much as I used to. It's still kind of boring, but uh, some of these guys are cute. Wait, what is... Oh, I, he's got a little, uh, he's got googly eyes. That's adorable. Um, I don't really want any of this. Nice try, I like that one. And, uh, sure, give me something blue, and I guess I'll take this. Yep. 
55, amazing. Basically, what makes an emote valuable is if it, like, has useful, for me anyway. I'm, I can never remember all the emotes I have, and so if it's, like, has a useful substring that I might conceivably search for, then, like, okay, it's useful. Right, and I, I saw I had one that said economy a bit ago, I'm like, okay, sure, I talk about economy sometimes. Oh, <laughs> these are all... I like that. I like that. And, uh... I don't know, man. Give me the pirate Apollo, I guess. And the black lab. I don't, did I tell you guys, by the way? I, I, a while ago, you've probably noticed, it's probably come up in some games by now, I got the, um... An actual white guy out of the black lab. The, uh, Megasword Centurion. So, very exciting, I'm sure. Uh... Yeah, give me this fancy pants conduit. These are not very good. I'll take the, the power suit cauterizer, I guess. Or I'll play for it anyway. Uh, I do. Th I think this guy looks so silly. Uh, no, but I, oh come on, you gotta take the base set units, right? And the root bear in this is cute. All right. Well, I guess we got. Cluster Vault exploding. Sure. Uh, the bear, please. And sure. I'll just try to get, like... They don't have a, a blue drink, I believe. They should have one. Uh, these are all awful. I hate them all. I'll take GG. We got the X's. Game over. That's not too bad. Uh, sure. Take the Lucina skin. I'll take Wally, I guess. I don't know. He's so rude. Whatever. He's, he's cute, though. And, uh... Skin? I don't think I have an Amparilla skin. Green again! What a surprise! I just eat. I am just emoting to increase my APM. How come when you win an emote in the green one, it didn't flash up here, but when I won a skin, it did? Weird. Inconsistent. That guy's alright, I guess, but I, I, I like the base treasure. I'll just take another Amparilla skin, or try for one. Give me the Angry Venge, please. Resentful. And, uh... Sure. Arca. Hello? Get out of here. Dang tooltip. Hey, we got the red one. Not bad. That of the four, that was my, my favorite. Cool. So we'll put that on. Nice to have a Venge Cannon skin for now. Uh, for finally, that is, I should say. I don't really want any of this other stuff. What's the other one? Oh, blue. Yeah. Alright, well, we're done in the lab. Hope you, get, hope you guys had fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.